And Josh, I know you've been following everything happening down there. Uh, you have a look right now. Is that San Francisco behind you? San Francisco, yes. yeah. You no, may have sunny. not. That's yeah, good. very sunny. Yeah. You, you may have not thought that it was San Francisco after the persistent rain we've seen as of late. Mm -hmm. But yeah, things are looking up. Uh, things are looking up, at least for today, as we are anticipating another little batch of the wet weather to find its way back into the western half of the country. But right now, our radar is showing dry conditions for California. But our next batch of rain is already starting to push its way back into the Pacific Northwest. And that's also helping for just a few of those snow flurries to come down over the Mount Hood Meadows area. You can see Mount Hood there off in the distance where a little bit of blue sky and the snowfall was found across the region as we currently sit at 28 degrees. But the winds, they've been screaming out towards Timberline, seeing wind gusts already today at about 86 miles per hour as our temperatures are bone chilling into the upper 20s. Now our snow elevation levels, they are expecting to drop with this next cold front that swings through starting tomorrow morning. That will bring rain for the valley locations, but snow elevations dropping down to about 1400 feet or so. And you'll notice that it stays persistent through Thursday and Friday. The difference is our skies will start to dry by the time we get into the week's end. After our snow reports over the past 24 hours already put us at three inches for Mount Hood Meadows, Timberline at an additional eight inches, and that puts our base level at about 86 inches. As additional snowfall will gather up to be close to about five inches for Mount Hood Meadows, at least through Friday. Of course, all of this coming to an end by the time we get to Wednesday evening. As radar and satellite shows, maybe just a rain drop or two, or I should say snow or your two over the high terrain, but the next batch of rain starting to take aim at the I-5 quarter, and that will be the case here over the next several hours. But the wet weather doesn't really get going until about dinner time tonight. If you're heading out to lunch here within the next hour or two, at least in the Portland metro area, uh, not necessarily going to need the umbrella or a rain jacket as it's been a soggy past couple of days here across the Pacific Northwest. The only dry day that we've seen over the past month was back on the first day of 2023. So scattered showers as we move our way into this evening with the real wet weather moves back in for Wednesday. We dry things out Thursday, Friday, actually able to enjoy a little bit of that sunshine before our next little bout of isolated rain showers moves in just in time for Saturday. So here's the breakdown of what's heading our way. It comes in the form of a cold front, bringing back the chance of rain for the coast, the valleys, snowfall for the Cascades, and that wet weather is gonna stay with us for the long haul for Wednesday, but then Thursday into Friday, we start to get this nice ridge with the jet stream building over the western half of the country. Not only will that help us to dry out, but it will also keep us on the mild side as far as our daytime highs go due to the clouds starting to break free during the overnight hours. Sometimes we lose some heat to that. So here's that batch of rain that moves through the valley locations for tonight, right at around dinner time or so. But the real major storm moves its way back in on Wednesday morning. Those yellows and oranges are a good indication of the heavier downpours with widespread snowfall expected over the high terrain, again dropping down to about 1400 feet. We start to dry things out though for Thursday with a few breaks in the clouds by the end of the day. So additional rainfall amounts nearing just at about a half inch for the valleys and closer to a full inch for the shoreline as our seven day forecast doesn't necessarily just show one, but two, if not even three or four drier days. So starting to move into a bit of a drying pattern over the next week or so for much of the Pacific Northwest, but it's Friday that we're all looking forward to with temperatures saying just at about normal. We get some sunshine and it's our first five o'clock sunset. Ooh. We haven't seen that since about November 5th which was right before we dove into standard time again. The darkness. I know. Like we just enter that time of the year and it's like wah wah. So But the light is at the end of the week. It's at the end of the week. week yeah. Yay. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back with more news and a final check on that forecast.